Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 12 for our PCNSA series. So friends, I have already covered about the vWire interface in my last video. So if you have not watched that particular video, I will recommend you to please watch so that you can understand what is vWire and how exactly it works. Okay. So in this particular video, I'll be explaining you what is NAT and how NAT works with vWire interface. The interface will be configured in vWire, but at the same time, the NAT will still work. I'll be explaining you via lab and I'll show you how to configure it. So I'll request you or I'll recommend you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand the relation between NAT and vWire and if I configure both of them, how exactly it works, how the network look like. Okay. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, let's understand what is NAT first. So I'll give you a high level overview because I have a lot of videos that will be coming in this particular series related to NAT and it will be a too deep dive. Okay. So in this video, we'll just try to understand what exactly a NAT is. That's all. Okay. What is the use case? We are not going to explore that particular part or we'll not deep dive. So NAT is as the name suggests here, network address translation. So I am changing the network address. Okay. So if I talk about layer three, where the network is, right? So network address, meaning the IP address, it can be source IP address. It can be destination IP address. Okay. So I want to change the IP address. So it can be, I can change the public IP address to private IP address. I can change it to private IP address to public IP address. I can even do the translation of public to public. I can do private to private as well, right? So here the addresses are getting translated from one IP address to another IP address. Okay. Now what is the use case? We'll explore it later, but for now you just understand the NAT is nothing but changing one IP address to another IP address. That's all. Okay. So in this particular lab, like when we do the vWire lab, we'll be using source NAT basically. Okay. So internal users, so inside users will be going to WAN or basically to internet. Okay. So we'll be changing the source IP address, which is going from inside to internet, right? So let's move on to the lab and we'll try to configure the lab and I'll show you how it works with vWire. Okay. So friends, let's understand how can we configure a vWire with NAT capabilities. So let's move on to the lab. And I'll explain you the lab first and then we'll move on to the configuration part. So this is our lab guys. Okay. So now let's understand one by one slowly, slowly. Okay. So friends, this is our lab and we'll try to understand the lab first and then we'll do the configuration. Okay. So we'll understand one by one. So we'll start with the test PC. So this is our test PC. Okay. Now here, when the PC will start the com communication, the source IP address will be something like this, right? Now destination can be internet or it can be any for now. Okay. Now that traffic reaches to router. Now router is basically creating a network over here because as the Palo Alto will not ha have any network in this. Okay. Because this interface and this interface are basically connected as V wire already in our previous video. 
so if you have not watched that particular video i'll recommend you or i'll request you to please watch my previous video for convenience i'll put in the i button so you can click on the i button which will reflect in the video you just click on that and you will get that video you can watch that video first and then come to this particular video okay now as they are in vwire and they are not having any ip address no mac address okay so it is basically this router will create a broadcast so this is one network okay and this is another network now as you can see this cloud this cloud is basically connected to my physical nic card which is my wifi and through this my isp internet is there which is connected through this particular nic card it is basically a wifi right as in this particular nic card we are basically running vmware and their dscp is basically running so if you are getting complex with this particular thing what you can do is you, i'll just remove the vmware just understand in this particular globe the dscp server is running so he'll be getting an ip address from there so the network is 192.168 okay or i guess if i remember it correctly i was not correct it is 172 some range is there okay so i'll be taking one of the ip address and i'll be natting with that particularly while i'll tell you okay so let's understand how to configure the nat here okay so this is a broadcast domain here and this is the broadcast domain here which is done by this particular router there is nothing this interface which is doing here okay because they are in vwire and they cannot do they are not having any ip address they are not creating any broadcast domain over here so they are not having any network over here right so whatever ip address that i am going to get it so i'll be getting 172 range ip address some ip address so whatever range slash 24 whatever range i am getting I'll be taking one of the IP address from that particular range and I'll be doing NAT over here. The reason being because as there is no IP address assigned to this particular interface, when we configure a PAT configuration, there are two options. One is interface and another is translated IP address. So interface I cannot select it. I will be selecting translate IP. So I'll be taking the IP address from this particular range. I'll be doing that. Okay. If you have still confusion during the lab, when I do it, it will be clear for you. Okay. I'll come back to this again and I'll explain you why I have configured the NAT one. So let's start the configuration with the router. We'll assign the IP addresses and then we'll move on to Palo Alto. Okay. So friends, let's open the router and we'll try to configure the IP addresses over here. So we'll go to enable mode. Okay. Okay. Enable host. Okay. We'll go to configuration mode. Host name. This is R1. I'll just give a name. Interface G0 by 1 IP address. 192, 168, 10.10, .10, right? 255, 255, 255.0. No shut. Okay. Interface G0 by 0. IP address DHCP, right? No shut. Now, in this particular case, he'll be getting a IP address from the DHCP. Okay. So, we'll see whether it's coming or not as you can see i have got the ip address as i told you 170 range ip address i'll be getting it so i have got 172 29 129 so friends uh, this is the dashboard of palo alto okay now if you go to network 
so i have already configured the v wire pair over here as you can see i have already created 1/1 and 1/2 as you can see 1/1 and 1/2 right now what i have to do is i'll be going to policies i'll be creating a nad policy i'll show you what i'm trying to say okay so this is for i'll create a pat okay so this is port address translation if you guys don't know i'll have a dedicated nat videos you can watch the nat videos then you can continue this particular video okay and if you are aware about nat that is well and fine so my source will be v wire my destination will also be v wire okay my source address will be 192.168 10.0/24 okay destination can be any because it is going to internet translated so i am translating the source ip address so pat so i if i select interface i will not have any option right let's say if i select this i will not get anything because there is no ip address so it's better we'll do a translation with the address right so so friends i have got this particular ip address from the dscp server so as i'll be using the same ip address to basically translate the traffic because if router is doing the translation or any other nat device is doing the translation they would be doing on the interface right so they will be doing the nat on the interface basically the pat right so i'll be using the same ip address okay and i am um, i'll click okay and this way i have created my nat policy right and also will create a security policy as well okay so i guess we have already created a v policy for this or i can just check once so the source is any destination is any application is any an action is allowed so i have policy which is already there let's commit this so once it is committed we'll try to go to test pc and we'll try to initiate the connection okay so friends as you can see that the configuration has been committed successfully so let me repeat the steps what we have to do it as you have to follow my previous video but let me tell you again so first of all you have to create zone and the zone type has to be v wire right the second is creating or configuring the interface and interface type has to be v wire as well and you are going to assign the zone to the interfaces so it can be interface 1/1 and the zone will be v wire basically okay now the third is you are going to create a pair of v wire or virtual wire zone or not zone uh, you are just creating the v wire pair right and the fourth is you are going to create a nat policy okay and fifth is you are going to create a security policy okay so these are the steps that you need to follow to create nat with v wire okay so these are the very simple steps that you guys can go with let me close this let me go to the test pc okay and we'll try to configure the ip address and test the internet connectivity whether my nat is happening properly or not so let me go there and this is 192 basically so this is 192 168 10.1 or 5 i'll say 192 168 it is 10.10 .10, right so this is fine okay close 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 okay now what i'm going to do is we'll try to initiate some internet traffic and we'll see whether it's working or not okay so before that i'll just try to log into putty and we'll see whether it's working 
So 192, 168, 202, 143. This is power. Palo Alto Firewall. Admin. And this is the password. You can see guys that we are successfully logged into the Palo Alto Firewall from CLI. Okay. Now we'll try to initiate some of the traffic. So friends, let's try to access Facebook now. And we can see that the Facebook is working. Let's try Amazon. Something will search. Books. Okay. And as we can see that it's working properly. There is no problem. So let's log in here. And we'll see, we'll see the sessions. Session all. Now, as you can see the Facebook, if you take an example of Facebook, this source is getting translated to 172 series, the 59, which we have selected to translate, right? So as it is working fine, there is no problem working here. So by seeing this particular thing, you can understand that vwire as there is no ip address in this okay just give me a minute okay so there is no ip address in this interface or in this interface but still we can perform the nat functionality same way we can do url filtering we can do app control the labs will be coming in if you guys request on the comment or maybe you can put that comment that i want a lab on URL filtering and app control with vWire. For layer 3 interface, I'll be coming up with this URL filtering app, that is for sure. But if you guys request uh, for uh, if the comments are more, more for this particular uh, topic, we'll create a new video for that. Okay. So guys, this is what I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much for watching and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. Thank you so much for watching. Till the end, I'll see you in the next.